I'm here unboxing assembling the Proscenic P11 mopping cordless vacuum cleaner. Now this is a stick vac that works on carpet or hard floor. Of course the mop only works on hard floor and we're going to show you what you get. You get the owner's manual, you get the mopping extension. Now this is attached to the base of the vacuum cleaner part and I'll show you how that works later. It comes with one thin pad that's used to kind of like abrasively scrub the surface and you put water in the tank. It comes with the charging station. Again, this plugs into an AC outlet, just plugs into the battery to charge your vacuum. Then of course you also have the battery itself and you can see the battery comes off the vacuum. It attaches separately. It also has the charge in the battery itself so you can detach it and charge it separately from the sit vac or you can charge it while it's plugged into the stick vac. You get the base itself. This is the vacuuming head. And pretty lightweight, honestly, the vacuuming head. One thing I like about the vacuum head right away as I pull it out of the bag is it has a relatively large bristle head. This bristle brush is hard, thick bristles. It should be really good at sweeping in the dust. It's also a very flexible and pivoting head, so it should be able to cut corners very well and angle very well. We also have the little handheld attachments. The first one here is the one that's used for corners or couches and cushions. As you can see, it has the little bristle extension. You just extend it if you need to do bristles to get inside fine corners. And of course, you get the angled attachment that's used for like baseboards or corners or even if you want to get in between blind slats and things like that. Here is the stick itself, which is very easy, nice and smooth. You see where the plug goes for the top of the vacuum. And then, of course, you get the wall hanging kit. Now what I really like about the wall hanging kit is it comes with the mounting hardware. You get the attachment holder, but you also get the power extender here for extending the power. It also comes with a spare extra filter, which is always a nice touch. It comes with the filter inside of it, but you also get a spare filter in case you gotta take the first filter out to clean it and it's still wet and you need to vacuum more. And then of course, here's the handheld part itself, which has the canister and the filter in it, as well as the power button, which is a trigger to press on and off. It's actually fairly lightweight. It's not as heavy as some of the stick back heads that I've lifted up before. Putting in the battery is really simple. You just line it up, slide it in, lock it into place, press the button here to pull the battery off. Again, you could charge it while it's connected or disconnect the battery and charge it separately if you want. And then of course you power it on or off by pressing the trigger here, just like this. You see the little blue light on the battery show you when it's on. Next up, I'm going to try to assemble it. So the first thing you have here is you've got your canister part. If you want to take it on or off, you just simply slide it in here and lock it into place. You can see where the grooves go. You just turn them in, snap it into place. It locks on and off very easily, nice and secure. And you press this button here on both sides. If you want to pull it off, you just press both sides. Knock, you just pull the canister out. If you want to dump it, clean it, put it back in, lock it into place. Next up, show you how to put the stick on. Now this is what really shines about this vacuum is this stick is fully adjustable. You can extend it up or down to different lengths. So my wife, who's much shorter than me, can easily use this vacuum in it without having a strain with it being too long, whereas I'd extend it out a little further. So here's what it looks like with the head on. Doing a little test here. My dog goes nuts over vacuum, so I'm gonna have to put him out of the room pretty quick here. But just showing you right here, I haven't even fully charged it yet. You've got your display here, which shows you it came with 67% battery. You've got three modes, low, medium, and high, and you just rotate between them. Again, the trigger turns it on and off, whereas you press the button on the display to rotate between the power settings.